Hi all, my name is Alexandra and I'm a product manager at OneData. In this episode of video series, I would like to introduce you a new module in OneData called Business Case Builder. Business Case Builder is a tool to help you design, develop, monitor and document your projects in record time. But why did we introduce Business Case Builder? When working with our customers, we recognized how important it is to bridge the gap between the business and technical users. Business Case Builder provides a central place where these groups of people can work together and plan their projects, ensuring that the technical solutions meet the business needs. Before we jump into the demo, let me introduce the use case we're going to work with. Let's say there is a national bank which wants to understand their credit life cycle and find optimization areas. The bank is facing several challenges at the moment. Firstly, their data is coming from different channels and is scattered across different systems. As a result, their employees are frustrated because they can't access the data they need and perform their tasks. The primary goal of this use case would be to harmonize the data of this bank and gain insights to help them transition more credit applications into the loan agreements. In this journey, they will team up in order to create the business case, design it together, and then the data engineer would work on implementing required data products while the revenue analyst would monitor the completion and review the data products built. Now I will switch to OneData and show you the business case builder. When I open the business case, I see the list of all the business cases in the company. I can search for the list and open an existing one or create a new business case. In our scenario, I would create a new one called Credit Lifecycle Optimization. After the business case is created, you will see the canvas in the very middle. This is the place where we are going to plan the data flow of our project. On the right side, there is a side panel where you can enter additional information like description, business value of the business case, its state and the owner. On the right side, you will find asset library. This is the place where you can see all the existing assets in your data landscape and select placeholders and plan the data assets which do not exist yet. Now let's plan the business case. Our revenue analyst and data engineer would start planning the data flow from the end result they expect. In this case, they would like to build a report, credit lifecycle optimization, to share the insights they find with the management. In order to reflect this report on the canvas, they would go to the asset library and take report placeholder. In the side panel, they can change the name of this placeholder, add a description and define the source system for this report. Let's say in this case, it would be Tableau. Later in the process, they can also manage the state of the report as well as add the link to the external system for easier navigation. Now, when they added the report, they need to identify which data is required to build it. They figure out that they need credit application data. First thing they will do is to look up if such a data product already exists in the asset library. After performing some search, they see that such a data product already exists and they would put it to the canvas. Then in the side panel, they can expect the metadata. For example, they can see the description and the owner of this data product. And if they want to see more information, they can also go to the data product detail page. Let's say now the team has taken a look into this data product and it meets the expectations they have, so they would select it for their business case. Now to reflect the expected data flow, they can also draw an edge between the two assets uh, in order to build it then further in the process. Another data product they would need is client information. They would again look in the asset library if such a data product already exists. And as in the previous case, they already see a similar one. They would also put it on the canvas 
And right after they put it to the canvas, they would immediately see that there is already an existing relation between the clients and credit applications. In order to understand what this relation means, they can also open the side panel, see the metadata, or even expect the respective transformation to understand better what is happening there. Let's say that our team also wants to reflect the source data of credit application in the business case for more transparency. For that, there is a function called add upstream or downstream assets. Using that, they can reflect the lineage of each asset or data product on the canvas. After pressing on this button, we see that some additional data products appeared. Now our team can analyze if this is the data they expect. For example, we can see that some applications are coming from Oracle, some from AWS 3 bucket and MongoDB, and this is exactly what they have expected and they would continue building the business case further. Except from credit application, our team identified that we would need some loan data. They already checked and this data product doesn't exist yet. Therefore, they would put some placeholders for data product loan and they would also plan some input data uh, and put placeholders for it. In this case, this would be data product loan terms, loan contracts and loan types. As they have done previously, they would create edges between the elements in order to define this data flow. Now our plan is ready and we clearly see which assets are missing. We can go on and start requesting the missing data products. This can be done in the side panel by clicking the button request a new data product. Now we are forwarded to the data product request page and with the help of AI, the page is already pre-filled with all the necessary information uh, so that we can send out the request. Coming back to the business case, we can now replace the placeholder with this data product request in order to further monitor its completion. Now we are almost at the end of our journey. We have all elements planned and now we can track the progress. The next steps will be that Jenny, the data engineer, will start building all the missing data products while Jerry, our revenue analyst, can monitor the progress and do the reviews of the assets she built. As a result of the completion of this business case, our revenue analyst is armed with the insights he needs to find further ways to optimize savings, find cross-sells and upsells. Data availability is no longer an issue for the team and they have all the data they need to progress on their tasks. And last but not least, created data products harmonize the data of the bank and create further opportunities to fund insights and increase their revenue. To wrap up this demo, let me summarize the benefits Business Case Builder brings to your team. Firstly, Business Case Builder helps you to design and build data products faster. It provides you a place where a team can collaborate and plan projects together, speeding up the process from raw data to the business value. Secondly, Business Case Builder helps you to document and monitor your projects faster. It provides you access to all the crucial information like metadata, lineage, quality and ownership so that you can communicate effectively and track the progress of your project. And lastly, it helps you to prioritize and understand the value of your project. With the plan, you can better prioritize the tasks on your projects and communicate the value of the project result to your stakeholders. Thank you for checking out the Business Case Builder with me today. If you would like to learn more about our product, check out our website and the interactive product tour or stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Bye.